functions, oh my. Understanding functions and parameters. Functions in mathematics. In both mathematics and programming, a function is a set of operations that takes one or more inputs, parameters, and produces a result. To help illustrate this concept, let's consider the mathematical function fx equals 2x plus 3. In programming, functions work in a similar way, allowing you to encapsulate a series of instructions and reuse them with different inputs. In the mathematical context, the function fx equals 2x plus 3 represents a rule that takes an input value x, multiplies it by 2, and then adds 3 to the result. For instance, if we substitute x equals 5 into the function, we get f5 equals 2 times 5 plus 3 equals 13. If we substitute x for 10, we get f10 equals 2 times 10 plus 3 equals 23. So the x serves as the parameter of the function, allowing us to generalize the formula for various values of x. Functions in programming. In programming, functions serve a very, very similar purpose. They allow you to group a set of instructions together, and parameters enable you to provide dynamic input to those instructions. Let's say we want to create a function in JavaScript that calculates the result of the mathematical function fx equals 2x plus 3. So, Here's how this function works. Function calculate fx curly bracket declares a function named calculate f that takes in the parameter of x. var result equals 2 times x plus 3 calculates the result using the provided x value. return result specifies that the calculated result should be returned to the caller. We will talk about this a bit later. Functions are essential for organizing code into reusable and modular components. However, there is a key distinction between declaring a function, which is what is happening here, and calling a function. Let's break down the differences with examples and explanations. Declaring a function. Declaring a function means defining its structure, logic, and parameters. It's like creating a blueprint for the function. When you declare it, you are telling of the programming environment how it should work when it's executed. Think of it almost as writing a recipe for instructions. The curly braces define the scope of the function, enclosing the set of instructions that make up the function's logic. Inside these braces, you can manipulate the parameters and perform operations to produce the desired result. AKA, the function does the thing, whatever it is, written inside the curly brackets. The return statement is used to send a value back to the caller of the function. It marks the end of the function's execution and provides the result of the calculations back to the calling code. So the function only returns what is written after the word return. In this case, it's sum. Often you want to return a variable here. In this example, function add numbers a, b is a declaration of the function named add numbers. It takes two parameters, a and b. Inside the curly braces, you define the logic of the function. Here, it calculates the sum of the two parameters that are being sent in and stores it in the sum variable. Return sum specifies that the calculated sum should be returned as a result of the function. Please note that when you declare a function, no code is written. You are providing blueprints for what the computer should do when the code is going to be executed. Asking the computer to execute this code is called calling a function or doing a function call. So let's go through calling a function. This means that you actually execute the code inside the function. When you call a function, 
you use it to perform a specific task or operation. To call it, you need to provide the required arguments, values, for its parameters. And the function executes its logic based on those values. Take a look at how the function calculate fx looked. Now, we can use the calculate f function or call the calculate f function when different values for x, different arguments. First, when we call calculate f5, the value 5 is passed as the x parameter to the function. Inside the function, the value of x is substituted into the formula, and the result is returned. The same thing happens for calculate f8. We have also created variables that store the result of our function. In this example, add numbers 5, 7 is the function call. The values 5 and 7 are provided as arguments for the a and b parameters, respectively. The function calculates the sum 5 plus 7 inside its logic and returns 12. var result equals captures the returned value 12 in the result variable. console log result outputs the value 12 to the console. Thank you for listening. The slides for this presentation are available for download so you can read them if you need to. Until next time.